So Mike plans to make contributions to his retirement account for 20 years, and after the last contribution, he'll start withdrawing $3,000 a month for 15 years. Assuming Mike's account earns 8% compounded monthly, how large must his monthly contributions be during the first 20 years to accomplish his goal? So now this problem is a bit tricky because there's really two stages to the problem. There's that first 20 years during which he is saving money, and then there is the last 15 years during which he is making withdrawals from the account. So let's break this down and see which part of this we have more information for. Uh, so let's start with the savings part. So what do we know here? We know that he is saving for n is 20 years. We know we're talking monthly uh, contributions. We know our interest rate is 8%. Do we know how much we want to need to deposit? No, this is what we're looking for. Uh, this is our goal uh, that we're trying to find here. Okay, do we know how much we want to have in 20 years? Well, no, we don't know how much money we need yet because we don't know how much money he needs in order to be able to make these withdrawals. So we don't actually know that yet either. So let's come over here. Here we know we got 15 years. We know our interest rate again. We know we're making monthly withdrawals. Uh, and we know that the amount of the withdraw withdrawals is 3,000. Uh, do we know how much he started with? No. But that's the only thing that we don't know here, and so we're actually in a pretty good situation. So now we can pull out our uh, payout annuity formula, because notice that this part of the problem is a payout annuity because he's making withdrawals. So we can figure out that P0 is going to be 3,000 times uh, 1 minus 1 plus 0.08 over 12 to the negative 12 times 15 all over 0.08 over 12. And now I'm going to pull out my calculator and figure out what that is. So it turns out that he's going to need $313,921.78, roughly, uh, in the account when he retires. Notice that this value is the amount that needs to be in the account right there. It's the amount at the beginning of the withdrawals. Uh, that's how much money he needs at the account at the beginning. Now this is important because notice this is also the amount that he needs at the end of savings, which means that this number is our value for P20. In other words, he's going to have to have, he's going to have to have $313,921.78 in the account when he retires. So now we can go ahead and look at the savings annuity part of this problem. So we'll get to make ourselves some room here. And now we know that the amount that he needs to end up with is 313921 We don't know how much his deposits are going to be, but we know that this is a savings annuity at this point, right? This part of it is a savings annuity. So we'll set it up using the savings annuity formula, and now we'll solve that. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out my calculator and solve that. Except first, I'm going to have to fix my mistake here. This is a savings annuity, so that is not a negative exponent. Okay, so now that we can have that, we can go ahead and sa solve this, and we come up with $532.96 each month. In other words, for those first 20 years, he's going to have to deposit $532.96 every month in order to be able to, when he retires, withdraw $3,000 a month for 15 years.